can weather on the eights and when it breaks. Hey, I'm in a mess. You'll hear him announce it here in a second. Look at this. And from the Southern Parkway, the accident is we got 2018.42.2. Stop and go traffic. Uh oh, no. I'll be on the pilot not available. Okay, that's okay. It's bad traffic, it's DC traffic right before Thanksgiving getaway. And I chose to sit here on the interstate instead of going on the back roads because. I don't have to do anything with autopilot. I just sit here. See? This is great. I was getting really frustrated. Now let's, see what, let's listen to what the traffic is on 95 North. See, right here, I think the road's closed. That's still Beltway. We're on 95 North, south of the Beltway. Still more Beltway stuff. Here we go. We're on 95, not 395. What do you guys think? This is great. I don't really mind the traffic so much as long as I can sit here like this. There we go. Before exit 136 Center Court That's us. Parkway, the crash in the northbound direction moved over onto the shoulder. Oh, it is. Onto the left side. All right. This week at Shoppers. That means that we can uh, hopefully, you know, get that taken care of. I think that's why we're moving now. It was like a parking lot here earlier. But even a parking lot, I still prefer that than having to go on the side street, which is uh, Route 1 over here. And you can see there's it's a lot of build up there. It's just a mess of people going in and out, changing lanes, and really dangerous stuff. At least right here there's no real danger and I can just hang out and it might even be quicker because you know eventually the stuff has to open up. They can't keep the road blocked forever. What do you guys think of the autopilot system? Let me know. I'm just going to keep this on for a little bit so you can see how it works in the stop and go traffic if you haven't seen it. Yeah, see, this is telling me to get off the road over here. And I can see there's a huge amount of cars trying to take the detour also. And I did get off the road at one point, but I'm not doing that anymore. It's just not worth it. I mean, how much time can I possibly save? It's so congested on those back roads. All right, navigating our autopilot just returned. You saw that? Because I, it knows I missed the exit. I missed it now. Construction guys. You can get a good view out the windshield here about what this traffic is going to look like further down the road. See it? It's starting to move. See, it, it breaks. You see, that's it. interesting when you, do, when you do a little panic stop like that, it doesn't stop and then hold the pedal and stop short like a human would. And it doesn't wait too long to panic break either, which results in like a totally jarring braking action when it happens. It, it does it real smoothly. I mean, I thought that was very smoothly considering it was a panic stop. It kind of smooths out the panic stops of the traffic in front. That's been my experience.
looks like they must have completely opened this road up again. We're starting to pick up the pace, which is good. I didn't think I was ever getting out of this. This might be almost the end of the video. Well, anyway, let me know your comments. How do you think autopilot does in this kind of a traffic situation, which appears to be over now? And if you've used it, if you think you've had similar experiences with me, I'll just, I'd just rather sit in traffic. Forget the back roads. I'm not taking back roads anymore. Just sit in traffic. Alright, well be sure to like and subscribe.